Welcome back to Sports Select Sports Talk and St. Fitzel Park here on Shaw TV. Yeah, you caught me relaxing. When you got friends and scenery like this, how can you not take a break? But let's get back and get fit. Time for Earn Your Donut and staying with our cycling theme, we're going to learn how to get ready for the bicycling season. Let's head to Stratagem. talk about getting started in cycling and just how maybe to train for the upcoming season. We're safely ensconced inside here at Stratagem and today we're joined by Colin Shepard. First of all, we got to let you know that uh, Pam Haran has moved on to Kelowna and after this winter. I can't imagine why she would want to do that. It's, uh, yeah, it's pretty cold here and it's nice and warm <laughs> out there. So, But anyhow, Colin, I want to thank you and uh, welcome you to the show and talk about how we should get started with biking. Uh, biking is a, it's a good activity to, to get outside. Um, it's non-weight bearing, so it's a, an activity that almost anybody can do and you can enjoy it with your whole family. All right, well, given the fact that uh, winter is still clinging uh, with all its might to us, talk about how we can train indoors. Uh, indoors, uh, you can use spin bikes. We've got uh, several other several other type of of bikes that you can use. So you can go to spin classes just using a bike at the gym, and uh, there's various ways that you can actually go about using the bike. As far as as we're going to talk about interval training and continuous uh, biking. Yeah, and, and talk about being able to recreate the whole experience. Like a, a spin class is a great way, isn't it? You'd be just like doing a group ride outside. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It uh, it it helps you keep helps keep you motivated and helps uh, keep the energy level up because sometimes it's pretty boring to to bike inside. So when you've got a big group of people, it kind of keeps that energy up and makes you work a little bit harder. Uh, do you like say the the spin bike maybe better than the big stationary, or, or talk about maybe the benefits of both? I guess. Uh, the benefits of both, I mean, the, the stationary bike always has that nice big seat, so everybody likes a nice big padded seat. Um, that's a little more comfortable, whereas with the spin bike, I find you can get, uh, you can really work a lot harder. Usually they have the straps that you can actually strap your foot in pretty good and, and, and get moving at a little bit faster rate, and it adjusts a lot faster. So if you're wanting to, you know, go between, like in an interval session, go 20 seconds of hard and 10 seconds of easy, you can crank it up really fast and then slow it down really fast. Where the, computer ones that takes a little bit longer to, to speed up and slow down. Talk me through a little bit about uh, interval training then. How does that all work? Uh, interval training, I, I kind of look at interval training as there's three types. There's fart lick, which is just kind of playing with your speed. So uh, I guess I should start backtrack here. Uh, interval training is just going at a higher pace than, than just going for a long continuous ride. So it can be, you know, you can do one minute intervals where you're going really, really hard for one minute and then you want to rest and then go for another one minute period and then rest. So, you know, you can, you can vary that 10 times, 20 times, depending on your, on your level act of activity. So as I was saying, fart lick training, that's just kind of speed play. So you're out for a bike ride, you're like, oh, I'm feeling pretty good today. I'm gonna go from this lamp pole to this lamp pole, and then after that, I'll rest. So there's the, that's fart lick training, just kind of playing with time or some set distance, or there's uh, just basic interval training where you're going set numbers, like I said, one minute, of hard, one minute if easy. Well, we hear a lot about interval training, Colin, and, and how effective it is. Just why is it so effective? Uh, it's, it's effective because it really helps the cardiovascular system get a good, you know, it really pushes it. So then afterwards, your body has to figure out how to adjust to that. So your heart rate, your heart is able to pump more blood with a stronger force. And then when you're resting, though, your body's used to that, so it can rest a lot better, and you have a lower heart rate. So it's kind of good for good for when you are working out because you're able to do more, and when you're not working out, you're able to rest a lot better. For someone like myself, I don't have the best of knees, and and I'm getting a little bit uh, mm -hmm. older, as it were. Just talk again. You touched on it a bit already, but just talk again about the benefits of cycling and and just how it really is as long as you're able to do it it's it's a sport really for life isn't it yeah yeah for sure i mean like i said it's a non-weight bearing activity so i mean you're you're sitting on the bike you're not out for a run where every time you take that step you're putting your full body weight through whereas a bike you can you're barely even putting yourself through that force if you're going into a higher interval training and a lot harder you can put a lot of stress on your body but just doing long continuous rides it's there's almost no weight bearing uh, on the body. It's just got to get warmer now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> a 
Well, that's pretty much going to do it for this edition of Sports Select Sports Talk. Big round of thanks, of course, to the good folks at Woodcock Cycle for all the great information they had to share with us. And, of course, big round of thanks to you, dear viewers. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for the show, never, ever hesitate to email me at the address that you see at the bottom of the screen. And you can always find me on Twitter at Al Foster Shaw. So on behalf of videographers Michael B., Jeff Bromley, and our entire Shaw TV team, I'm Al Foster saying thank you so much for watching. So long from St. Patel Park, and don't forget to wear your helmet.